What's going on fam? Welcome back to the channel. I have a very special one month review for you guys today. Okay, so technically it's not a one month review because I managed to get these Battle Pack remakes a while ago. In fact, the original review video that I put up of this exact boot went up three months ago on the channel. I have been wearing them for my games, which you might have seen in some thumbnails or in Instagram posts. Uh, of mine and I will tell you these are some of the best performing boots I've ever worn in my life. These rival, in my opinion, Hypervenom Phantom 3. And that really, really irks me to say that because Hypervenom Phantom 3 is one of my favorite boots of all time. But we're going to go through all of the different aspects of these boots and why, if you can buy them, you absolutely should. They are so incredibly good and potentially why they're a little bit better than some of the other battle pack, or some of the other remakes that the F50 line has had in the last six to eight months or so. Okay, so we're gonna start with the upper. So the upper is made from the hybrid touch. By the way, look at these boots. I've absolutely destroyed them. They are dirty, I need to clean them off. We actually had a game three days ago, which was our last of the season as of the filming of this video, and I wore these for the last game. They are just, really really good to look at so the upper so the upper is a hybrid touch forefoot and most of the midfoot and then it's got a synthetic heel area and then a little bit into the top part of that lacing system and you can see right here where that line is so those are uh, sort of what the upper is made of the hybrid touch came out in 2013 or 14 I believe with the original version of this boot and I will tell you it is super comfortable it's super lightweight it molds to your foot really quickly and really well and also doesn't lose a lot of the lateral stability that you want in a speed boot especially this is a boot that marries that upper with the last from the x speed flow and x ghosted line which we'll get into a little bit later but this upper was one of the best uppers in the f50 generations and I think a lot of people really appreciated that they put this particular upper on a pair of remakes especially because it was so popular back in the day they had a synthetic and a leather version the synthetic version which is this one actually acts almost like a thinner more responsive more adaptable version of Nike's Kangalite material which I think is spectacular. It's really exceptional what they've been able to do with this upper and how thin it is. I mean, it cannot be more than a couple millimeters thin, if that. And it's got a nice suede inner lining, which is a really nice touch, especially when you wear socks and your socks get a little sweaty. It does actually kind of act as a adhesive almost, so it doesn't allow your foot to slip at all in the shoe itself. So the upper is super comfortable. It molds so well to your foot. And it really does do a fantastic job of wrapping your foot and giving you a barefoot responsive feel on the ball. I also appreciate how they absolutely could have gone hybrid touch all the way through the heel, but I actually like that they left the heel as a synthetic material because it does give you a little bit more structure in the heel area so that the front and the toe box and the midfoot can really break in and mold. And then you've got a really sturdy uh, base in this back area here in the heel. So for me, this upper is easily, easily a nine out of 10, easily a nine out of 10. It could be higher than that. Um, the only reason I'm not rating it any higher is just because there's no grip elements on it, which for some people is awesome, some people isn't. I tend to like just a tiny bit of something on there, so it's totally a personal preference for me, um, but this is one of the most comfortable and best uppers I've ever tried on on a pair of football boots, as you can see from the wear and also from game photos of mine. I've worn them, I believe, every single game other than one when I wore the previous game before three days ago was down in Chattanooga and I wore the New Balance Furon V7s, the new ones. And those are fantastic too, but this is a special, special pair of football boots. The upper is incredible, nine out of 10. Next, let's move into heel. As I sort of talked about it before, I really do like how it is a synthetic material. Some people might be like, oh, well, you want it to be more moldable? Yes and no. I think in my opinion, I would say that having this the synthetic leather on the inside of this heel area and then the synthetic on the outside really creates a stable. See how rigid that is, which I actually really prefer in a lot of ways. I know in my one month review, which this one will come out after that one, so I can talk about it, but in the leather variation of this one, the all white one, in my one month review, I talk about how floppy this is and how it does 
kind of, I kind of get a little bit less grip and lock down and I feel my heel is less locked into that boot um, just by a little bit. But this one, I'm really pushing on that and it takes a lot in order to get this to move, which I actually really like. Once your heel is locked into here, it's so nice because the boot just holds you in in the heel. And with this synthetic lining, which is super thin actually, this heel, as you can see, there's really no padding on the inside of this heel, which means most heel shapes should fit in here. You might have a little bit of rubbing in the initial part of breaking this boot in, but it also is possible, like me, I got zero hot spots in my heel, but once you've broken the boots in, it should be pretty suitable for most heel types. There's really no, it's nothing like a speed flow or something that had those little pods where if you have the wrong shaped heel, you really don't want to go for them because they'll be super, they'll get, you'll get blisters and you'll get all sorts of stuff like that. These are not like that. This is very accommodating and in my opinion would suit most foot types, especially in the heel area. For me, this is a 9.5 out of 10 heel. This is excellent, excellent work in the heel area. Let's move on to the sole plate. So you guys have heard me rave about this sole plate. I love this speed frame from Adidas. I like this one and I also really like the new one from the Speed Portal, plus and point one, same sole plate. But this one, I think they say it's from the Ghosted, which it probably is production time-wise, but it also features on the Speedflow models. It's the same construction, same. This is the FG variation, if you couldn't tell already. And you've got tons of good grip on the ball. I play predominantly on artificial surfaces, so it is a boot that I feel comfortable wearing on AG pitches as well as FG pitches. Um, I actually wore them in Maryland. Uh, you can check out my game analysis on that video and in several other uh, synthetic pitches with this boot and I feel comfortable on both. They give me plenty of grip, plenty of pivoting power. There's no weird bite spots where I feel like, ooh, if I make a certain type of movement super sharp, it might really hurt my ankle or my knees or put my knees in jeopardy of getting injured. So this is a sole plate that is great for all different types of uh, surfaces as well as it's so responsive. This Carbotex insert is fantastic. Again, I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse here. It, it very much is just repeating myself on this one. I really, really like this sole plate. I love what Adidas has done with the Carbotex insert. I'm so glad they brought the carbon fiber back into the football game and it really does add that awesome snapback. And I wear boots with Carbotex inserts more often than boots that don't have them simply because they're that good and they help me feel that much more on my toes and responsive. It might be a mental thing, but it does give you more energy return than the normal speed boot does that doesn't have a Carbotex insert. So that's something to keep in mind for me. 9.5 out of 10 for this sole plate. I'm not actually sure. I can't remember how I've rated it in the past. 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10. Um, but it is in my opinion, the best sole plate on the market right now. I like it more than the air zoom. And I, and again, this is personal preference. You, you guys, Obviously, you know that, and uh, this is just me sharing my opinion, but for me, nine, nine out of 9.5 out of 10 easily for this sole plate. Let's talk about lockdown. So we're gonna combine lockdown in the heel and in the upper, just cause it's kind of, I'll talk about all of it together. Lockdown is something that's really important for a lot of people. Some people who play a little bit less competitive football might not really care about lockdown just because they want the comfort of maybe a full leather boot. For me, I rely on the lockdown of my shoes and my boots to be as responsive as possible. And that's something that you really have to keep in mind when you're deciding what kind of boot you want. If you want a boot like this that has incredible lockdown, super secure, it might not be as insane as a Vapor 15 or 14, something that's built literally for straight line and lateral speed. That being said, these are excellent for how old this upper is. The, in my opinion, this is the best combination of really lightweight one-to-one -one barefoot touch on the ball and also having an exceptional amount of lockdown. Part of that comes down to them splitting the upper in synthetic in the back and then leather in the midfoot. So it does keep your heel in and heel slippage is one of the things that a lot of people talk about mostly. So as far as heel slippage goes, it, it really, like my heels don't slip. I wear grip socks, you guys know that and that's for training and games. I hardly ever wear regular socks. In fact, I don't ever wear regular socks anymore because grip socks are so helpful for me in, in maintaining the internal uh, structure of the boot and my foot inside the boot. I don't want any slippage and these boots do a fantastic job of locking your foot in, especially with this really nice basic 
central lacing system, it does a fantastic job of wrapping your foot in a way that's customizable and you can see where the boot, actually we'll go this way, so you can see where the boot has kind of spilled over on the upper, right? So meaning that it's kind of gone like this a little bit and it's a little bit wider than the sole plate. Those are in areas where my foot is a little bit wider and I was actually explaining this to my wife the other day and a few people who we had over for dinner and I was explaining why lockdown in a boot is so, so important for footballers and I would say these do an excellent job. They're not the best on the market, but they're very, very good. For me, the lockdown in these is an eight out of 10. Yeah, eight out of 10 is a, is a very good rating for lockdown, especially for an upper that's seven, eight years old now. So fantastic lockdown for the upper, especially because it gives you such a leather barefoot feel. Um, that is awesome for me. Couple other things that I wanna talk about. The colorway obviously is absolutely classic and homage to the 2014 World Cup. Messi wore a customized version with some blue accents in there, um, but this battle pack was the World Cup of 2014 and this was the upper, I guess, the exact same upper that was on the uh, Audi Zero F54s that had this same upper and everything. And it has the little 14 right there, which is super cool. Little homage to that as well. And uh, yeah, the colorway for me, it's, it's a little loud. It's a little kind of aggressive. I wear these because of the fit and feel and performance, not because of the colorway. Um, I do like them. I think they're sick looking. I would say that the leather F50 remakes for me are far better than those. So for me, this is a 6.5, out of, 7 out of 10. I'll give it a 7 out of 10 just because it, it does look kind of cool. And, and to be fair, they go well with most kits just because black and white pretty much goes with everything. They're just a little obnoxious for me, I think, for the most part, but I wear them regardless of the color. So seven out of 10 for the colorway and how they look. As you guys know, these are very hard to come by now. So if you can get your hands on a pair, the question is, should you buy them? And I'm going to give an absolute yes to that so long as your foot is not excessively, excessively wide, in which case you probably wouldn't have fit in the original version of these anyway. My feet are wide, but they're not absolute tanks. So it's kind of, I'm, I'm wider than the average person, but I'm not tanky wide. So these actually fit me really well after a few hours of break in time. Definitely expect these to be a uh, good option for you if you are somebody who has anything less wide than my foot, which is like se definitely several uh, degrees wider than the normal foot type. These are fantastic pairs of football boots. I love them. F50 remakes of the Battle Pack Audi Zeros. If you can get your hands on a pair, I definitely, definitely would recommend. If I've missed anything that you guys want me to rate out of these boots, um, we've got covered the upper, we've covered the lacing system a little bit. I actually really like it. Um, Feel on the ball is fantastic. That's something that I haven't really talked about. It's very barefoot, but I did talk about that a little bit in the upper. You guys know I love the speed frame. Overall, and if this isn't represented by the amount of games and training sessions I've worn these boots, this, this is my most worn boot in game of 2022 by far, by far. So I wear these more than anything else, in, especially in games, and that's a huge deal for me uh, as far as trust goes. So I trust these boots uh, very, very much. So I love them. I would recommend you buy them if you can get your hands on a pair or get the leather ones. Those are also fantastic. The overall rating for this boot is easily, easily a nine out of 10. These are unbelievable, and these probably rank tied first for some of my favorite boots of all time as far as performance goes. They're that good. They're so, so exceptional. I love them, and I'm really excited to share this one month review or three month review at this point um, of these because I've beaten them to hell, and I actually bought a second pair because I wanna wear these in the future, and they're fantastic. So if I missed anything, leave it down in the comments below. You can ask any questions about these boots. They are fantastic. If I missed anything, obviously let me know. Um, DM me if you have any questions. I would recommend going on boot resellers websites. So Instagram boot resellers, definitely go check them out because they're the ones who will be able to sell these. Um, they'll be a little bit higher than retail for sure, but they are absolutely worth it. They are that good. They're exceptional. That's it for the video, guys. I appreciate you sta sticking around for the one month review of this Battle Pack F54 remake. As always, be awesome. Take care. I'll see you guys in the next. Time.